Hello and welcome back to another Django Pro tutorial series video. In this tutorial, we're going to set up a virtual environment for our projects. Um, but before we can actually start working with Django, we need to have a package for Python installed called Virtual EMV. And what Virtual EMV does, it allows us to isolate our um, our project that we're going to be working with, so we're not installing a whole crap load of different packages in different locations on our operating system um, where we'd run into version problems or uh, other issues where packages are interacting with each other. So basically what virtual environment does, it contains a whole new Python installation in a directory or a folder and it allows us to install packages in there and it acts as like a version control too. So um, basically if we're working with Python 3.5.2 and we're building our Django project with Django 1.10, it's gonna keep that all isolated in one spot. Now let's say Python 3.6 came out and we downloaded that and then Python 2 came out, or Django 2 came out I should say. Django 2 came out and we get in, uh, download that on our operating system, they're not going to interact with each other. And that's the nice thing about virtual EMV. I highly suggest that you always use a virtual environment when you're working with a Python project or a Django project, any type of project. That way nothing gets screwed up and down the road all your hard work is lost. So how do we work with virtual EMV? Well, we're going to have to install it and then I'll show you how to activate it, deactivate it and everything like that. So let's get started. <clears throat> First things first, what I want to do is um, install virtual EMV itself. So I'm going to use pip3, one second on my terminal here. So in your terminal, pip3 install virtual virtual EMV. All right, so just going to go ahead and install the virtual environment uh, package, virtual EMV package, which allows us to work in a virtual environment. Mine says requirements are satisfied. That's because I use it every day. Yours is going to install a bunch of crap and it will, it will say uh, installation successful. Um, we can check to make sure it's proper or we got the latest version, I should say. We can do a virtual EMV dash dash version and this is going to say 15.0.3. All right. Cool, that's what I'm working with. If it's anything later than 15.0, uh, you're good to go. All right. <clears throat> now let's create a um, actual virtual environment. What we're going to do is just create a test one that we're going to delete at the end of the tutorial. But, hey, practice makes perfect, right? So first off, let's get into our desktop. Uh, if you're like me in your user file, I believe that's where I am, we'll go ahead and uh, CD, change directory, uh, desktop. All right, and now I'm in my desktop file folder or directory. Um, <clears throat> what I want to do here is create a uh, directory. It's going to contain all our Django projects. All right, it's nice to have it all in one place so you know where to look for them. Uh, to do that, I'm going to do mkdir. All right, make dir mkdir. Then I'm going to use Django. Now. I already have a Django file on my desktop, and that's where I keep all my projects. So I'm going to do make dir Django. All right, bang. It says the file already exists. Cool. I already have mine exists, but now you just created a new one. Yours probably didn't return anything. It'll just come down here. All right. Now we're going to CD into Django, just like that. And now we're in there. Now we're going to create a virtual environment. So how do we do that? Well, we just go virtual EMV like this, all right, and then test, okay? Uh, test is going to be the name of our virtual environment, and I'm just calling it test so I know that's the one to delete. And the virtual environment is just the command, all right, to create the virtual environment. Bang. Now it's going to run through a process. It's going to install uh, some executables, which will be in uh, located in bin, install setup tools, which allows us to work with Python packages, it installs pip, so we can install Python packages, installs wheel, which helps work, work with Python packages, 
And once it's done here, I'm going to go ahead and show you some other stuff in install. So in desktop, in Django, in test. All right, I can look at these. Uh, include. <clears throat> this is a bunch of um, C language headers or functions. So it's interacting with C. That's how Python interacts and is able to run. So that's what is in the include file. All right. Uh, lib is our actual Python 3.5 installation for us to write Python code. All right. Um, in site packages, this is where our site packages go. Uh, if we downloaded packages, they would go in this folder. Um, but normally when we're working with Django, we really don't have to mess with this at all. As you can see, as we saw before, it was installing wheel, setup tools, and pip, and that's where they all went. All right? It also has easy install. If you guys are familiar with that, you can use that as well. <coughs> anyway, back out of there. Let's keep going. Um, so we created our uh, virtual environment. We're still in Django. So if we list out, list out, we got, I got two in here. You should probably have one, um, a blog. All right. Now we got test. So let's go ahead and CD in the test. All right. Let me clear my screen real quick. So now we're in test. Let's go ahead and activate our virtual environment. So how do we do that? Well, let's first list out what's in here. We got bin, we got lib. Bin was the executables. And then we saw lib and we saw include. And then pip self check JSON. That's just a file that pip uses for its self check, hence the name. Anyhow, to activate our um, virtual environment, we do source, oops, source bin activate. Just like that. All right. So we activate our virtual environment. And that's indicated by the test over here. All right. So now we're safe to install packages. Until you activate your virtual environment, don't install packages. All right. Once you see the parentheses and the name of your virtual environment over here, then you can install packages. Um, anyhow, <clears throat> now we're in our virtual environment. Um, and we can install packages, we can do whatever we want. If we want to get out of our virtual environment, we can type deactivate, just like that. Anywhere, you don't have to be in the test folder, you can be anywhere, and you can hit uh, type deactivate and it'll pull you out of it. So now you notice that the parentheses have been removed and we're out of the uh, uh, virtual environment. Man, I'm struggling tonight. Anyhow, what happens if you want to go ahead and reactivate, reactivate it? Say you went to another project, came back, want to reactivate. Well, you got to be in the directory contains bin, and once you are, you can do source bin activate like this. All right, and you can activate it. Uh, say that, let's go out. Say we're in a Django file, so we go Django, actually go CD, CD. All right, and say I want to go into um, test and activate my virtual environment all at the same time. I can do something like this: cd test and n source bin activate. All right, so you can do it either way to activate it. All right, uh, either go into your containing file that contains bin and activate it, or you can. You see the test and then so you're given two commands, all right, and then uh, source bin activate. Cool. All right, so deactivate it again. Now that we know how to activate our virtual environment, deactivate our virtual environment. Let's go ahead and remove our virtual environment because we are not going to use this one in our tutorial series. So we do cd back uh, dot dot backslash to get back one. And then we're going to just going to do uh, rm dash r test. All right, and rm stands for remove. Dash r allows us to remove directories or files that contain content or data. And then we say which one. Boom. See ya. No longer is test available to us. All right. So that's it. That's virtual environment, folks. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.
where we will install Django. I'll see you then.